All right, guys. So it's Wednesday night, and I was just, I just, well, I'm in here. Alexis is in the bath, hence the water sound in the background. And now, you're watching Daddy on the video. Can you see Daddy? She's got a mouthful of water. Can you see Daddy? And now she's spitting out the water. Can you see Dad? Yes. Okay. Anyway, I just had one of those father, my father-daughter moment. Do you know in the movies you see? No, no, don't touch it, please, Alexis. Because your hands are wet. You see, like, you know, you have that thing where, oh, she's only little and you're dancing with her now, and then in 21 years' time it'll be gone like that, and you're then dancing with her as an adult. Well, I just had my first, like, little dance with Alexis. I was like, ah, oh, heart fluttered. So, yes, it was today, tonight. What was it? 10th of December. Oh, jeez. And so it'll be interesting to see how long it is before she gets big. Or bigger than she is now. You like Bob the Builder? Saturday morning, stopped off at Target, Bob the Builder, and then we're going to the pool. Oh, is that a horn? Press it again. <laughs> oh my goodness. Are you making that noise? Good fun? You're a little bit concerned there, Alexis. So we've come to the Melton Wave Pool. Mum's here as well. Hi, Mum. How you doing? Alexis is all buggered out now. She's having a little snack. It's a bit of a drive for us to get here, but we thought maybe they'll put the, uh, the waves on. You two look very, very tired. Yeah. You all buggered out, chicken? Are you tired, girl? What are you eating in there? Some strawberries and blueberries. Are they yummy? You gotta stuff them in your mouth all at once. Look, you drop one. Quick, grab it. And it's on your towel. It's on your towel. Yup, there it goes. Good job. Alright, so Max is obviously out here with me for a walk. Oh, turn the camera around, Ben. Okay, what is it? Quarter past two. Uh, we were at the wave pool for a couple of hours, an hour and a half, that type of thing. Poor old Alexis was buggered. She fell asleep in the car on the way home. And uh, I'd sort of been planning all day to get a hike in or get to cover some kilometers. So got home, Joanne and Alexis are at home. Alexis is having a sleep. Oh, and uh, Joanne is trying to locate this uh, kid's camera that Alexis wants for Christmas. Oh my goodness. She wants a camera and a telescope, as you guys know in the last vlog. And uh, Father Christmas may have a challenge on his hands <laughs> locating this particular camera because uh, Father Christmas told me to go to Target today and uh, pick it up or uh, confirm which one it was and uh, yes they're all gone. Crud. So Joanne is trying to track those down. I've come out. Whew, I'm just doing my normal well, as you guys can probably recognise, this is normally where I run. I'm just going to walk it a couple of times. I want to try and do between 20 and 30 k's today. But uh, I don't know if I'll... Uh, I mean, I'll be able to get it. It's just a matter of how long it takes. Each back loop, front loop is a total of nine. Normally it takes me an hour to run them. So running it would be three hours. So I'm thinking it's going to be closer to five hours to get it all done. What did I say it was? Two, five, seven o'clock tonight. I can probably walk until just before six. I really need to be home for dinner and uh, to bath Alexis. Just after, you know, have dinner and be at home. So we'll see how much walking I can get done between two, in the next four hours. Maybe I can get just over 20 k's. I might not get the full, yeah, maybe. If I can get mid 20s, that'll be pretty good. Okay, so three hours, 15 minutes into it. Just under 18 k's. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit over it. I was reading a book while I was walking along before, and now my neck's sore. I think I'm going like this. Oh, sore neck. Oh yeah, my feet are aching. Like the soles of my feet. It's a bit different this time. The actual pads of my feet are a bit sore. Uh, it'll be interesting to see whether I take when I take my boots off, whether my heel's gonna be sore again, uh, like last time. So I'm down to the last. I'll say 4Ks, I'm just going to do the front loop and then call it quits. That'll take me through about, uh, well I think it'll be just over 21Ks. 
not 100% sure. We'll see what the GPS comes up with. Whew. See you shortly. All right, I made it home 21 kilometers, three hours something, three and a half hours. I'll have to look at it again. But my feet are so sore. Does anyone want to offer some suggestions? This is what I will. I've got Katmandu hiking boots, which they seem you know pretty good. Um, yep. And today, on the weekend for the first hike, I wore the first hike. Let's see if I can get these to come up. I wore these sort of. They're almost like a wool. Would these be wool socks, bub? What? Would these socks be wool? Uh, yeah. Like this woolen sock. I'm the oh, okay. Joanne's cooking dinner. I wore these, and it felt like my shoe was a bit big. So today, I decided I'd wear these underneath them to try and make my foot a little bit bigger so my foot didn't slide in my shoe not that it was sliding but just felt a little bit loose but then i think the bottom of these are too abrasive they're like a running sock and now oh my goodness i've got no blisters i don't get blisters oh, help if i could focus 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 just here even just to touch that like that ooh, is very sensitive that hurts. This is alright. Even down here today is fine. Last time that hurt. So that's really good. I'm very pleased with that. And this one's not anywhere near as bad, but that one, ow, that's sore right there, just on that pad. Oh, no blisters. Oh, so now Joanne's got a little foot soak for me. 21 oh, Ks. Not bad. Okay, so it's Sunday. We've come to Bunnings again. Oh, uh, Alexis, you're blocking the view there a little bit. Somebody's a little bit tired. She had a little sleep. We went and we brought ourselves. Can you guys see that? I'll flip that side. A double hammock. So, Mum is a happy camper, aren't you, Bub? Yeah. <laughs> what? Don't put that in your mouth. Don't put that in your mouth, please. We'll go get an ice cream. You happy you got a hammock, Bub? Set it up and have a little snooze. Oh, my goodness. So, we are home. Joanne's a little bit disappointed because there's so many parts, aren't you, Bub? <laughs> Is it too much? <laughs> mm. um. <laughs> Joanne's reading the instructions. Just trying to figure out what part is what. I thought this would be wider. For two people, unless it's folded in half, you think? No, it's not. Well, definitely two people have to lay across it, and that's only wide enough for me to lay. We didn't get a double. Well, what the heck's that? Why would it have been? That's not, surely that can't be the whole width. You reckon? Uh, yeah, because that's the end. And that's, yeah. that's very narrow. Maybe they just say it's a two person hammock. Two skinny person hammock. Yeah, two. Uh, <laughs> no, I shouldn't say anything, I might offend somebody. Alright, this will be your little project. Two Joanne hammock. Yes, that's right. <laughs> um, I will check back in and see how you're going in a little while. Yeah. You gonna help me? I'm gonna go do the banking. Uh. Plus, this is your, was it repertoire, forte, your something? It's nothing. Look, you've even got a little bunnings balloon there with you. I'm here to help. All right, I'll help. You need my manly skills. Be very careful with what comes out of your mouth next. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what part is next. Oh, jeez. Um, this is A. Right. Where's B? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Oh, that's terrible. We've only got to A and it's all downhill. <laughs> all right, I'll help. Okay, now, I've helped Joanne and we have realised that it was folded in half, wasn't it, Bubba? Yes. So it is much wider. It's nice and wide. But when we put it together, we were looking at it thinking, wow, that is quite, from that point there, down, across, and up to that point there. It seems a very long way. We're thinking, oh, maybe that's just how big it is. So we hooked it on this end. We thought, yep, beautiful, ready to go. Hooked it on, and we thought, now we'll hook over to the other side. And even if it's stretched directly between the two, we've got it at about two foot short. We think we might have, uh, we've got this extended out to full length, and we've got those extended out to full length. Might have to reduce those a little bit. What do you think, Alexis? Are we doing a good job? So yes? yes? Good job. All right, we'll have to do some shortening here. Can you please explain what's happening right now? <laughs> oh, Alexis, you bumped my blogging arm. I'm, I'm just reading. I've just done what the instructions said. 
What's that? Which was my back in the neck. Right. Well, we did our little bit of adjusting. Had to lower these ones down, and we had to squeeze those ones close together. And now Joanna's testing it out. Oh, one of the feet came off. Oh. Wasn't that one of the feet you put on? <laughs> you put the feet oh, on. Oh, jeez. All right. So <laughs> it is. Oh, look at these two now. <laughs> What's happening here? This looks a bit relaxing. <laughs> it says 150 kilos, which means Daddy can't get in there now. His mummy pushes us just over that weight category. <laughs> Daddy's got another four kilos to lose before he can hop in. Daddy is nasty. Oh, jeez. Saying I'm pushing you over the weight. Actually, category. with Alexis in there, I wouldn't be able to get in for sure. What are you? You're 50? Yeah. Alexis is 13, and I'm 104. Yeah, we're well and truly up and over the weight. Oh, dear. Oh, well, once Daddy gets oh, down dear. under 100. Oh, dear. Oh, gentle chicken. Oh, Don't do any damage. Oh, you break them, you buy them. Is it nice in the hammock? Oh, you're a funny little bugger. So here we are in the wild, <laughs> and we can see a, a female Joanne here. She's quite comfortable in her natural habitat. I'm not, I'm not a shopper in the wild anymore. Not a shopper in the wild? No. Okay. Do you shopping that time? Oh, yeah. And I'm stuck in behind the trees here. Come on, Maxie. And you Let's said go. I was Come a on. shopper in the wild. A shopper in the wild, yes. <laughs> uh, you nice and comfy this is now? Me and my natural habitat. You and your natural something. I can't even get out of here. Oh, where am I going? There we go. Let's have a look. Oh, look at you, Miss Comfy. Is it too hot in the shade, in the sun? No. See, I would have thought just here. Or maybe here. We move Alexis's cubby house out because it needed a wash. Where are we going to put Alexis's cubby house then? Back over here against the house. It's all shady on this, there on this, at this time of day. Yeah. For her. And you like to sit in the sun? I'm like a cat. I'm like a cat. So I couldn't think of anything sun, worse than sitting in the sun. What's that? I couldn't think of anything worse than laying here in the sun. Oh, huh. Okay. It's sunny. All right. I am. I'm like a cat. All right, I'll leave you here. I'm going to go find our daughter. Okay. Good night. Is this the dog house for you from now on? So you... What's... Oh my goodness. You're ruining the serenity. I'll give you serenity. I'll about to tip you out of this single... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I do seem to sense an ongoing theme here amongst the females in this family. I want to address the extreme relaxation Are they apples? Nectarines. There's a lemon tree above us and a nectarine. There's a lemon. I've got a lemon just there. Nectarines here. What's the one on the, and the apples on the end there? And the parrots will come and take them all. These are the apples. I can't eat them anymore, so. But they're so. Oh, they're so yummy. We have the yummiest nectarines when they're ripe. Oh, and this is the uh, the sand pit I've got to fix once the drill charges up. That might be another day, I think. I think the drill will take a little while to charge up, at least that's what I'm hoping. Oh, come on, I just put together this thing for you. That was a team effort. Team effort? You read the instructions. <laughs> Incorrectly. Well, it's not my fault, you're illiterate. <laughs> oh, that's it. Somebody's getting tipped out of the hammock again. <laughs> you're not picking on me. Alright, guys. Wednesday afternoon, we've gone to feed the ducks and Daddy, Alexis decided that she rather is Daddy's hat. So we've swapped hats. Have you got my hat on? Yeah. Do you like my hat? I am a people man. You what? I am a people on earth. I'm not sure what you're saying. Something about people on earth. People on earth, my hat. People on earth, your hat. People on my hat. Oh jeez, what are you doing to Dad's hat? <laughs> and of course, it always seems like a good idea to go and feed the ducks, but it means that Alexis only walks maybe halfway down. Can you fix up my hat? My hat's falling off my head, chicken. Yeah, fix it up. Oh jeez, 
And uh, as I said, Alexis only walks halfway. And then, oh geez, that'd be my eyebrows you're pulling off. Oh wow, you got jammed on there now. And then dad has to carry the rest of the way. So, whew. All good? Oh, thanks. That's not covering up much of my forehead. That one's dad gets sunburnt on his forehead. Oh, you got oh, that's too much. Too much of my forehead. Oh, now not enough of my forehead. I think there's not enough material for this kind of forage. You can <laughs> look at you up there just enjoying the ride, huh? Oh, you have put your hat on backwards. What are you doing? Can't see your face. Oh, there you are. Okay, good job. All right. Yes, gotta get home, cook dinner. Oh, oh, hats off. Can I have my hat back on? Can Daddy have his hat? Oh, good job. Let's see if we can get it on right now. Oh no. Yeah, that's it. Put it at the front. Put the flap at the front. Yeah, that's it. Almost. You know, how about you put your hat on first? Oh, geez. Oh, my goodness. What are you doing? Oh, oh. Emergency, we dropped the hat. Oh, you're pulling that eyeball off. There we go. Hey, oh, no banging on the head. All right, guys. We've got to go. Sorry about the back lid here. Oh, right, oh you got guys. both. Alinda Recreational Reserve. That is the football club where I'm supposed to finish. So it's Saturday morning. I've driven all the way out here. It seems whenever I go for a drive to do these bikes, it turns into a saga. Car didn't break down this time, but the GPS took me along some road that uh, basically just said private property, so I had to turn around and deviate back the other way. So I've parked the car at the end of stage four, which is actually a two section stage. So I'm gonna hope I can now I'm about 15 kilometers from the start of where I want to start hiking. I was going to catch a cab, but it's like bush, so I don't know what I'm going to do. I might just walk along and see if I can hitchhike and see if somebody will give me a lift uh, where I need to go. Not really confident, and I'm setting myself up to do almost 30 k's today once I start the hike. So if I have to walk this whole thing, it'll be 45 k's for the whole day, which is almost double what I've done before. Today could be a very interesting day. I think there's mozzies out. Let's see how this saga unfolds. So yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this is Falls Road. And I did kind of think it was gonna be like a road sealed with traffic going both ways and I might be able to get a lift. I'm absolutely spewing because eight parks, you know, like a national parks car just went past before and I didn't put my thumb up to get a lift with him. I probably would have been the ideal person to jump in with if you're not for the lift that was. Um, so yeah. I'm thinking I might have a very, very long walk ahead of me. But I figure if I do 15 k's this way and then start the hike, it'll be a total of 45, which I don't know if I'll make. But the thing is, I don't have a choice now because the car's back there. So I have to either make it back. Um, I thought I could hear a push bike. Get a lift on a pushy. Um, I was thinking if I get tired, maybe I could just catch a cab back. But the problem is I can't see any cabs out here. There's like no movement. So I can see myself doing a huge saga of a day. Nine o'clock, 45 Ks, average four Ks an hour. Four, oh, that's 10 hours. Oh, that's late. Oh well, let's see how the day pans out. Maybe I'll have to jog a bit of it. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Alrighty. Let's see how this saga continues. Well, just got dropped off after my first lift. They brought me up that road there, so all the way up Falls Road. So probably about three or four kilometers I've just come up. I started jogging and then I heard a car coming, stopped and they jumped out, or oh, they jumped out. They uh, picked me up, drove me up here. So now I'm on the tourist road. I should be able to get another lift, hopefully. I'm just gotta confirm which way I'm going. Yep, I'm on a roll. It's five minutes later. I literally walked along that road for just maybe a minute or two and another bloke picked me up and drove me pretty well three quarters of the way here. I think I've got to go down this trail about three k's maybe to hit the point, which will be the start point. I may actually end up coming back to this point, but we'll go down here. I can't complain. Actually, how can I complain? That's been awesome. I've got two lifts driven me the whole way. Now, I don't suggest hitchhiking for everyone, um, especially if you're a young female or a female period or a little person. And I don't mean that to be sexist, but as far as safety is concerned, um, yeah, don't do it. But um, I was lucky, got picked up by a couple of nice people. Oh yeah, Wandon Station, 4.2 Ks. Alrighty, let's do this. 
All right guys, so that is the way I've just come down. I've just, we got dropped off way up there. I've walked all the way down here. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's just there. There is like a sign, a green sign. It's SYR 209. There are markers that are along this path, obviously for emergency services and stuff like that. Now this path here, I just wanted to go back down this way. Don't wanna make you dizzy because I wanted to make sure that the uh, checkpoint wasn't in there further. But I think the checkpoint actually refers to is coming down this path here. So really this section starts, checkpoints in there. There must be a reserve or something just on the other side. In along here, boom, away we go. Now I actually downloaded an app called Backcountry Navigator. That's for Android. I don't know if there's an iOS version, I'm assuming there is. Now uh, I've got the demo version which is free and I think after 21 days you gotta pay nine dollars for it or something and then you've got unlimited use but what i did find is i went into the trails section and i did a search for oxfam and i found the oxfam uh, melbourne i think it was a 2013 walk so what you can do is you can download it was only a two meg download to your phone and excuse me you can then also when you're connected to the internet you can get onto the map where the trail is say yes i want to download this whole section worth of map and i want to download it uh, with the ability to zoom all the way into maximum level and it's for free you can download it for free and it'll download it. it might be you know 10 meg or something but then when you are offline don't have internet access you can open up your phone and if you've also downloaded the trail it will show you exactly where the trail is well back in 2013 so obviously line that up with your current directions and yeah so i'm going to be using that today to help me make sure i'm on the right path so because you know last time we got a little bit lost but that's fine all right I'm out here by myself, what is it? 5 to 11, smash out two sections of this. And uh, I have noticed it was very easy walking here because it's all downhill. So this is uh, all of section four, which as I said, is broken into two sections. It's close to 30 Ks, I think. Um, yeah, so this is Ben from Team Determination, Team 216, starting section four. Whew. Let's see how we go. Okay, for those playing at home, well, we're near a big road. I'm back at that cafe and I realised that, not that I took a wrong turn, but the directions are a bit different this year. So there is that cafe over there and we went, Jesus, forgive all the traffic. The Warburton Trail's down there and I came back out here, crossed over the road here, and I was like, well, this is Joy Avenue just here. But the directions basically mean that back down the trail a little bit, you cut through here to those lights there, cross over, come down the path here and then they want you to turn left into Joy Avenue this way. So I've ended up in the same spot but the map, um, it's probably not very clear because, or well, I thought you get all the, well sorry, not that it's not clear, basically I thought you'd get all the way to the end of the path like to that cafe which is where I took that original video from when I got dropped off um, and then go from there but on the map, I don't reckon they use very good maps because it's very hard to go, oh, you're walking along this path and then there's this, I actually saw maybe three trails off to the left there that uh, could have been the track, but I went to the end thinking, oh, that's the end of the map. Um, and that uh, back, what was it, Backcountry Navigator app, obviously in 2013, they went to the end or whoever did it went to the end. So I'm in the right spot. You come down here to Aqueduct Avenue, I believe, and I think we're going around that way. I think, let me Left. check. Back there onto this Aqueduct Avenue. And it looks like I'm just gonna be walking, well, it's like most of this trail is gonna be undulating dirt road, as far as I can tell. At least that's what it looks like so far. Anyway, we go down here a bit and we turn into another street. So there's street signs, which obviously makes it a lot easier to uh, get your navigational points right. I feel all right. Hopefully Joanne's not watching this because I just finished off a can of Rockstar. It's uh, half past 11, so half hour to do that first bit. So it was a couple of kilometers. Um, but yeah, alrighty. We're cranking. So you follow the roads all the way down. It says come down and turn right at the gate. This rickety thing here is the gate. Basically on the map, it shows it going down and around as a road. But obviously this, on their map, this turns into a dotted line. On the app that I got, this shows as a road. Obviously it's a service road, so. Yeah, and I just had to have a pit stop, well, a pit stop, 
had a break up there for a minute just to uh, add another pair of socks. So I got two pairs of socks. I got my big thick sort of woolen ones and then a slightly thinner pair just to uh, help. Because I feel like my shoes are just a touch big and if I do them up really, really tight to, you know, stop my, potentially stop my foot from uh, sliding around and getting blisters on my heels, then it starts to cut into the top of my foot. And I've got the shoe pretty well done up, almost as tight as it can go. Sorry, this is bouncing around, guys. But I figure I'll put on a second pair of socks, thickens up my foot, gives a bit more padding around my foot. And uh, yeah, I was able to uh, release the shoe a little bit, so. Alrighty, a couple of kilometers down this little trail. These maps are crap, so are the instructions. If you get to this point here, I think you've gone too far, and that was literally only just around the corner from where we were. Uh, doesn't say anything about taking a left turn, so I'm gonna double back. I'll be covering extra kilometers. I just ran down here because it was a nice steady downhill, you know, something I could make up a bit of time on. I'm having to double back. It's ridiculous. And I think some of this section, my um that other trail I downloaded, it looks like it's a bit different. So I wasn't following that either. I was just going on this path and had a quick look at the map and it looked like it just kept veering around on the on the path. Oh, just terrible. Whoever did these maps, and I saw the bloke, so I don't want to get bagging out too much. I'm sure they're trying to do their best, but Oh, guys, come on. Use good maps. Use good instructions. Because for training, this is terrible. See? Now this... Is that the... No, that's not it. I thought I saw a little path here. Is this... The little path? I think that's going to be it down through there. Which is ridiculous. Have a look at this. So you come down here normally. And then you come to this bit here, where there's a little path off there into the scrub and the main path goes around there like that. You probably would have put a point here saying veer off to the left here. I've got to double check the maps now, make sure that's where I'm supposed to be going. Last problem was my fault, I misread the instructions. I should have read down a bit further. But now it's saying, we came out from down there, it says come down around here, exit opposite the rugby club. Well, that's the club there. You would think that would mean down there. Well, I've gone in there, there's nothing in there. There's a fence over here, but this is the emergency exit only. Unless I'm supposed to climb the fence. I don't see an exit point here. Oh, this is starting to grate on me. Um, unless there's a dirt, it says take the little narrow path. Is that a little narrow path? No, that is part of the garden. And the other map says to go up through here. Yeah, theoretically you're supposed to jump these fences. I reckon it's to go through there. Oh, restricted area. This is horseshit. Okay, for those playing at home, we entered in over there. The tennis courts are down there. I thought we got there. You come around here. Here's the clubhouse and it says exit opposite the clubhouse. This isn't opposite the clubhouse. This is the exit of the reserve. So just come around to the exit and go up that little path there. So yeah, I'm uh, not 100% super uh, impressed with these. Just make sure there's not another little bloody path there. No, that's, that is it. That better be it. <sighs> Maybe those directions should have said, follow around to the exit of the reserve or the oval. Um, don't say opposite the clubhouse because it's not opposite the clubhouse. Opposite the clubhouse means from the front directly opposite. That would be follow it round to the exit near the rear of the clubhouse, not opposite the clubhouse. Peck your heads. All right. So follow this path up the hill, bearing right. All right. Let's see how many more times we can get lost. That's just a big hill. Look at that. So you come out in that clearing down there. Oh, I'm puffing. You come out just there. It says come up the hill, bear, bearing to the right. At this point, I'm thinking we got there. I haven't read the instructions yet though, oh my God. So I've come all the way over the hill. I took that path I originally pointed to, but that was a little bit confusing as to which one I take. I come all the way down here, go all the way down here and up that hill there. 
Now, I'm really glad I've got that other app with the old track on it because I've just noticed that on the instructions on the map, there is no 4L. I've just noticed it goes um, L or whatever it is. It's missing one because there's this massive gap, which is basically the point from where you jump over the fence and you choose uh, what path there. You specify this track all the way along. I would say I'm not on a track at the moment. There's a track across there. I think it hooks around here and comes up at this point just here again. Uh, well, at least according to the other program I've got. And that's sort of the direction the other guys took. So, whoop, wet, wet, wet. Oh, geez, sloppy. That's all right, no worries. So, yeah. There are definitely a couple of mistakes on um, the instructions. I think it would be incredibly beneficial for them to use maps that haven't got crap written all over them. Um, preferably digital or also have available digital copies or if somebody out there has actually gone and done the whole walk and done it on a uh, like one of these tracking apps so that other people can then download it because I don't think this is supposed to be an exercise in map reading it's supposed to be an exercise in exercise or hiking and some people probably say well that's supposed to be hike, you know map reading as well I don't want to get my ass lost out here by myself don't hike by yourself. Yeah, blow it. All right. Here we are. That down. Where the hell am I going to go next? Time to refer to the maps. So, pretty well got myself sorted. I think one of the instructions missing was probably uh, you get onto track 10. You get onto track 10 and just follow it all the way down until you hit track 11. Join track 11 until it hits track 18. Then down track 18 until you hit track 13 and turn left. I'm down to about 12% battery. I'm just heading towards black hole track or something. Um, I have to admit, it's not as hard as I thought it would be. The only hard bit's been this bit, really. I mean, besides that other really big hill, the last kilometer or so we've been going uphill like this. So I think this is gonna be the junction right here. Maybe. Anyway, I won't vlog too much because I'm all about that. I'm almost out of battery. Yep, I've got a junction with no signs, all darn. Yep, just check the map, you gotta come through here, around and up that way, not through there. So I've made, I've pushed all, you can't really see it, I've pushed all the leaves like that, and I've made an arrow going that way. Hopefully the guys that are doing this tonight in the dark will be able to see that, otherwise they might go down there and uh, have to backtrack. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I just came up there that's pretty well the end of it. That knocked the stuffing out of me. Holy mackerel. Um, I had to change batteries though because the battery died. I haven't been able to do any vlogging for the last kilometre or so because once you get under 5% battery, it um, won't let you use the camera. So get to this road, turn right, head back into town, it says. Holy mackerel. Probably only about a kilometre to go, if that. Whew, I'm stuffed. So I'm back in the car now. Oh my goodness. So it was only really another, if it was a kilometre, I'd be surprised. Um, it ended up being about 16 kilometres all up. The GPS stopped about 15.8, um, So it would have been about 16 or so. Three and a half hours. It was about from 2, sorry, from 11 o'clock to 3.40. So 11, 12, 1, 2. That can't be right. Sorry, to 2.40, not 3.40, so yeah. That was about three and a bit out, three and a half hours. Um, I'm cactus, I'm absolutely buggered. Uh, and to think now, you turn, this would be section four. So you're not even halfway, I think there's 10 sections. I'm so cactus now, it's ridiculous. Anyway, I'm gonna drive home. Um, I've just loosened off my shoes, changed my shirt, had a big drink. Sat down for 10 minutes watching the cricket here. Uh, yeah, I figure I'll drive home. I probably should, when I get home, go for another walk. Um, probably not a bad idea, put some different shoes on and try and notch up another maybe 10 k's. Oh, couldn't see myself having the energy to do that. Oh well, so anyway, sorry for all the uh, bitching and moaning earlier in the uh, vlog. It's amazing, like, I always <clears throat> almost sense when I'm getting low on energy, but I have to admit, I wasn't really impressed with some of the directions. It made it very frustrating to try and find where you're going while you're getting tired and 
you're working hard and all that so anyway hope you enjoyed the vlog for those guys that are just watching it for the oxfam stuff uh this is gonna be it for the oxfam training i'll upload it uh probably tonight or actually i'll upload it tomorrow night and uh yeah if you want to support the team it's our team is number 216 determination i'll leave a link to it below if you want to donate that'd be fantastic uh it's great cause it's tax deductible oh my goodness i'm not doing real well at promotion at the moment <laughs> all right guys i'm going home G'day guys, it's Sunday night. I wanted to quickly wrap up the vlog. I've almost finished editing, but before I go, I just wanted to welcome these new subscribers. Okay, we've got Pat Pat Baby, we've got Electrical Gaming, we've got Carla Jennings, we've got Car Car 6788, we've got uh, AUT Cherry 25, I don't know if I pronounced that right, is 2 kp and Crap Meth. <laughs> so yeah, welcome to those new subscribers. If you guys enjoy these vlogs or if you're enjoying watching this Oxfam training I'm doing, oh my goodness, I just finished watching all the, uh, obviously editing all the Oxfam footage. I'm like, Ben, stop complaining, just bloody do the thing. Um, I think I need to improve my map reading skills. But anyway, if you enjoy all this stuff, click the subscribe button up top, comment down below. If you want to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all of those things, Blaze1000 or Blaze975, links down the bottom. If you want to support our team, and I'd really appreciate it, we're Team Determination, which is Team 216. I'll leave a link below, click on that. It's to support Oxfam. Uh, any donation over $2 is tax deductible, so really appreciate any support you can offer. That's it. See you guys all next week.